All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. Today is an odd day. It is also National Animal Crackers Day. The word of the day is pacify. It means to calm down. If your dog is scared of storms, try to pacify them by holding them close and petting them. The Great Trail Alliance will be meeting after school today in 1221. It's time to order your yearbook. Go to yearbookordercenter.com and enter the code 10391 or also for the total school because it's $85. Mr. Miranda Science class are looking for used water bottles and cartons and milk cartons. The students must bring these items to room 1224 this week. For this week, we return to Autism Awareness Month. Autism Speaks is the largest organization that supports autism awareness, but many autistic people greatly dislike the organization. They say that less than 4% of money raised by Autism Speaks actually goes to help autistic people and their families, and that they don't actually have autistic people running the organization. Of the 28 members of the board of directors, only one is on the autistic spectrum. They also released a controversial First 100 Days Kit, meant to help parents and kids with the first 100 days after a diagnosis of autism. Part of the kit encourages the parents to grieve the diagnosis as if the child died. It also encourages them to, and this is a direct quote, tell the people around you that you hurt and you are outraged that this diagnosis has happened to your child. Outraged? For what? It's not like they were being diagnosed as being a werewolf who will go into a bloodthirsty frenzy every month. These reasons, and more, are why many autistic people speak out against Autism Speaks and ask others to not support them. in Switzerland called, oh my gosh, I can't even read this, which is roughly translated into child eater. Why does it, why is it named that? Take a look. Isn't it cute? According to Mr. Schofield, who is forcing me to read this, it's disturbing. Stop lying to these kids. And now for today's feel good news story. Four year old Toby, who lives in the coastal town of Bournemouth, England, was devastated when his new Hot Wheels car, which he'd gotten for Easter, was run over and crushed by a neighbor. He was so upset, in fact, that he asked his parents to call the police to report the bad man. They convinced him to write a letter instead, so Toby told his mom what to write. He ended the letter with, Please, can you catch the bad man and tell him off for running over my car? The letter went viral, and when local police sergeant Sophie Williams saw it, she decided to take action. She wrote Toby back and included a brand new car identical to the one that had been destroyed. Toby was thrilled and now carries his new car in his pocket at all times to keep it safe. We would like to wish happy birthday today to Alaya Bigsby and Declan Duffy. Thank you to the Hawks. Have an epic day. And we'll see you tomorrow. And that's a wrap.